This problem is about acceleration in uniform circular motion. Pause the recording and read through the question carefully. Let's start approaching this problem by drawing a diagram. So initially, the jet is moving downwards with velocity of 1,080 kilometers per hour. And at some point before it hits the ground, let's draw the ground in there, the jet will have to execute a quarter turn so that it is no longer heading straight for the ground. And the information we're asked to find is at what height above the ground does the jet have to start pulling out of its dive? And we're given some other information. We're told that the pilot will lose consciousness if the acceleration exceeds 5G. Now we don't want the pilot to lose consciousness. So the maximum acceleration at any point has to stay less than five times the gravitational acceleration on Earth. So if we want the acceleration to be a minimum, we want the jet to take a smooth curve around this quarter turn. If it went along a straight line and then took a sharp corner, that would have a greater acceleration at that point than if it's accelerating gradually around the turn. So the motion that we have here during the quarter turn is actually just a fraction of a whole circle. So it's a quarter of the circle. So what we're dealing with here is circular motion. And what we're really trying to find here is for this circular motion, we want to know what that height there is, which is actually the radius of this circle. And that's also the radius of the circle. And in fact, that would be two. So we're trying to find the radius of the circular path that the jet is taking for that quarter turn. So if we're dealing with uniform circular motion, then the expression for acceleration is given by the velocity squared divided by the radius of the motion. And as it's the radius that we're trying to find, we can rearrange that expression. So the radius is given by the velocity of the jet squared divided by the acceleration. And during uniform circular motion, so the directions of the velocity is constantly changing. The magnitude of the velocity in the acceleration remains constant. So we can fill in our numerical values here. So the velocity was 1080. We want kilometers an hour, so we need to change that into meters per second. And we need to square that and divide that by the acceleration. So our maximum acceleration that we can have was 5g. So that becomes 5 times 9.8. So if you work that out on a calculator, it gives 1,837 metres. So that is the absolute lowest height above the ground that the jet can start to pull out of the dive. I would probably hedge my bets and say, if I was this jet pilot, you'd probably be looking at about two kilometres um, to allow for uh, trees, lampposts, people, and a little bit of clearance room. But I'm not a jet pilot, so perhaps I'm being overly cautious.